Phil Heath reveals all with new physique updates, plus what are his future plans. Hardy Chupin speaks on the 2023 Mr. Olympia. Derek Lunsford 2022 and 2023 before and afters, plus much more. What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wolves here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back with another bodybuilding news video. And let's kick this one off with the physique update from Horse MD. Marcelo out of Brazil being coached by Milos Sarchev ahead of his Open Pro debut. And uh, this is what he says. This is the translated version. He says, the pose seen from the angle that the judges see. I'm not hungry yet. In the last few weeks, my waist will tighten a lot more. 123 kilograms fasting today, which I'm guessing is about 260, maybe 265 pounds, I'd say. Uh, four weeks until my uh, debut in pro. The pose seen from the angle of the judges see, uh, yeah, that's the translated version straight underneath it, so I don't need to read the rest of that, but looking really, really impressive. And this is a side-by-side -side with that physique update versus the last time we saw him on stage where he actually turned pro in the open. He then planned to compete in classic physique where many were saying, and even on here on desktop bodybuilding, I was saying he's a chance to potentially challenge C-bum. He was a little bit too heavy. He didn't compete in classic and now he's gone to the open. And I think that was a right move for Marcelo. And here's a back shot he just posted recently as well. So you can see there's a little bit more conditioning to go. The details are coming through. You can see the hardness in the hamstrings. And really he has packed on a ton of size. He and Milos obviously working together. And I'm very, very excited for Marcelo's pro debut. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think this guy will qualify for the 2024 Mr. Olympia? Maybe at this show, maybe at another show. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on Marcelo. Now we move on to a physique update from a guy who I had no idea existed before a few hours ago in recording this. I saw this posted by Bodybuilders Without Borders. It says alert uh, on another Korean talent. And he says, introducing, it says Gundam Force. Now, I can't find out this guy's full name because on his IG, it just says Gundam. So we're referring to this guy as Gundam and Gundam looks damn good. He looks ridiculous in a lot of these updates. He's making his move over to the NPC. He's got his uh, NPC regional qualifier this weekend, and then I'm assuming he's going to go on to a pro qualifier. So this might be a very, very new IFB pro in the not too distant future. And really, he has a very complete physique. He's got great legs, great detail as well. And also, some of the Asian bodybuilders don't tend to have the best backs. He seems to have a really good back as well. So this guy is going to be dangerous. I don't know if he's a 212 type of guy, if he's an open guy, but regardless, I think moving forward, he's going to be a force in the IFB Pro League at some point. We move on to the Olympia portion physique updates for the show. And we've got some here from Nathan Diasha, looking really, really impressive. And he even said his coach is happy and he's basically never happy. So you can see here, the most muscular is looking super dense and Nathan is getting better and better as these physique updates go on. And the front lat spread, that shot is just mind boggling. It's his strongest shot, I reckon, by far. It's just so round, so full. And actually holding his legs like that where they bow out, I think looks really, really good on his physique and it accentuates the X frame he's got going on. The ab and thigh is looking really good and the side chest is super, super dense. So... I picked Nathan, I believe, in eighth place in my Olympia predictions. Go check out that video if you haven't as yet. I do my full top 15 in order. But Nathan, I think, you know, I don't know what you guys think, but I think he's a lock for the top 10 as long as he doesn't mess anything up or do anything crazy last minute because he's just looking supremely conditioned. And I'm really interested to see how he looks against guys. Like if he gets some call outs with like a Hunter Labrada or even some of these other top guys as well, just to see where he stands, because I think he's bringing a different level of density, and he definitely is bigger this year from what he has said. So very interested to see how he looks on the Olympia stage in just two and a bit weeks' time from now. And we've got an update from one of these contenders in Derek Lunsford, who's looking crazy. We saw some photos go up yesterday where he had some crazy chest striations as well. Super, super impressive, and his back is just utterly mind-blowing. I featured updates of him yesterday as well, where he's in the gym and he just looks so, so crazy. And I saw this comparison posted by who is the best BB, 
where you can see him on stage, I believe that's at the 2022 Mr. Olympia in his open debut. And then you get to see the gym shot as well. And now we can make these shots look better in the gym under the right lighting at the right angle, all that sort of stuff with a pump, a little bit fuller than when you're on the Olympia stage. But in reality, he's not dried out there. And I think Derek Lunsford has matched his conditioning from last year's Olympia or is very, very close to it. And I think he's going to outdo that conditioning level from last year's Olympia as well. And if he's able to do that and make some you know, muscular improvements as well, which he looks to have been able to do, he is going to be very, very hard to beat. And that's why I predicted him to win the 2023 Mr. Olympia. Although I am very concerned about one man, and that's your current Mr. Olympia in Hardy Chupin. And uh, Honey Rambot, his coach, has actually interviewed him. Uh, I believe it's on the Evergen channel. And here's what Hardy had to say in that video. Hardy John, I'm so chief factory that he buried Mr. Olympia. خب تکرار قهرمانی از قهرمانی خیلی سخت داره برای اینکه بتونی قهرمانی تو تکرار بکنی باید دو برابر سال قبل تلاش بکنی امسال من شبانه روز تلاش کردم همه چی رو کنترل کردم نسبت به سال قبل بیشتر توجهمو گرم کردم ذهنیتمو به تمرینم و امیدوارم که بتونم دوباره قهرمانی رو تکرار کنم so Hardy is clearly motivated. He's put his all into it this year, more than any other year. So you assume that would garner better results or at least equally as good results. If he's putting his heart and soul into it, like he said, he's worked on his mindset more. And I think he's out for blood. And I think that he wants to prove everyone wrong that is doubting him and predicting someone else to win the 2023 Mr. Olympia like myself and like a lot of other people out there. And people love to see change as well. People love to see that contenders winning. When Ronnie Coleman was winning all those Olympias, everyone wanted to see Jay come up and win the Olympia. And then as soon as Jay won it, you know, then his sort of haters came out of the woodwork and wanted him to lose it. So it's just sort of the nature of the beast. And I think Hardy is going to be very, very dangerous. And honestly, like my pick is sort of up in the air still between if I think Hardy Chupin or Derek Lunsford is going to win the 2023 Mr. Olympia. And no doubt there is a bunch of other guys that can win the 2023 Olympia as well. So it's going to be very, very exciting. We've got an update here from a seven-time Mr. Olympia in Phil the Gift Heave showing his full physique, including those abs as well, which definitely look improved. They look perfect. Absolutely not, but they definitely look improved. He's got a great physique still, and he's looking to actually improve that physique as well. And saying, feeling so good during this photo shoot with Panada official here in Apira, Italy, as I have the best equipment around to get the job done. What's the job? Well, I've been structuring a new routine, one that serves greater mind, body, and spirit. With the Olympia approaching, I had to show my current physique, but I am motivated more to build a better physique. So very, very interesting words there from Phil Heath. So he says, I'm not competing, but he's looking to build a better physique, but also structuring a new routine, one that serves greater mind, body, and spirit. So it sounds to me more like Phil Heath is sort of in the next phase of his career in terms of away from the bodybuilding stage. That's just what it sounds like here. In previous posts and things that Phil has said, I've sort of thought to myself, Phil is leaving that door open to potentially make a comeback, but he just doesn't want to say it and sort of commit to it. That's what I thought was happening with Phil Heath. He still looks great. I would still love to see it for the most part, as long as he thinks he can get his physique back to a level where the midsection is tight enough and the rest of the physique's there too, because he hasn't had an issue with the rest of the physique. It's, it's always sort of been there. The last Olympia, I think he was a little bit down, but I think he was sort of cautious of that midsection as well during his training. So if he can get back to training the same way he always used to because we know he's an absolute freak in terms of responding to things and look at his physique now. I don't think that he's going to the gym six days a week and killing himself to look the way he looks now. So theoretically with, you know, upping the training, maybe upping the supplements, upping the food and getting on point with all that stuff, plus now having a pretty tight midsection, as long as he can control it on stage, he could definitely make a comeback. We could see a Masters Olympia comeback if they do up the prize money because Phil spoke on that, or we could see an open comeback. Who knows? Anything could happen potentially in bodybuilding. Once a bodybuilder, always a bodybuilder, but overall Phil is looking pretty damn good. And I'm pretty damn impressed with the overall physique in this recent physique update. 
But anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Would you like to see Phil Heath make a comeback? Do you think Derek Lunsford or Hardy Chupin or someone else will be the 2023 Mr. Olympia? And let me know your thoughts on all the other stuff in this video, like Horse MD and the new upcoming potential pro as well. Anyway, that's it for this one. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up from myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. So for myself, Xavier Wills, this is Desktop Bodybuilding and we are out.